An armed man from California was arrested after telling police he was going to kill Joe Biden and other high-profile individuals, among them White House CZ222 advisor Tony Fauci. Greetings, everyone. Jim here. This sounds like this was a false flag in the making. Now, Quachua Brillian Shong, that's this man's name, was nabbed in Cass County, Iowa on December 21st after sheriffs discovered an AR-15 rifle, ammunition, and body armor in his vehicle when he was pulled over on the interstate highway for dangerous driving. According to Secret Service agent Justin Larson, Shong had been traveling for several days from California with the intention of driving straight to the White House to kill persons in power, and a Google Maps route to the White House was discovered on Shong's phone. Now, this uh, 25, 25-year-old Shong had complained to the authorities about the purported abuse of children under Biden and claimed he had been called by God to combat evil demons in the White House, okay? You see this right here. Well, first and foremost, uh, God is not going to call him to combat evil demons by using a firearm. Evil demons are combated through the power of Jesus Christ. There is no other way. So, uh saying that God uh, uh, prompted him to do this. It's more likely that Satan prompted him to do this. Now, uh, Sean has also revealed that he had intended to gain entry to the White House using a grappling hook. So Sean, he had a, a kill list, folks, which uh, he compiled using TikTok, he allegedly including uh, this kill list allegedly included Biden, uh, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Mark Zuckerberg, and of course Fauci. And uh, he had been recently fired from his job as a grocery store worker and said, quote, he would immediately resume traveling to the White House, close quote, if released from custody and would, quote, do whatever it takes, close quote, to conclude his mission. And again, this man was originally from California. And uh, sheriff's records show that Shong is currently being held at Potawatomi County Jail. Now, there are, are numerous sources for this uh, this report, folks. I'm using this one here. It's the, it's the clearest and most succinct. Again, this sounds like it was uh, some manner of false flag in the works. Uh, possibly even uh, MK Ultra may have been involved here to control this man's mind. This man could have been controlled by the very demons he was claiming to be going to combat. Uh, this could have, I mean, this could have been a disaster, folks, if he had succeeded, uh, whether he'd been able to penetrate the White House, that is very unlikely, but still, um, again, I, I, all I can think of here is a false flag, possible mind control. Uh, it, it did not succeed, uh, no matter how much or what you feel about particular individ individuals in power, folks, or in the media, prominent faces that you see every day. You don't want this kind of thing to happen. And um, I'm sure there will be more on this. I will leave you a link. Please like this video. Please share it. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell icon for notifications. Most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.